and welcome back. So today I have a brand new hat thanks to Uncle Rob and Aunt May. Thank you guys. Um, today we're going to be making rainbow trout. Haha. Uh -huh. Yes. Um, there's many different ways to make rainbow trout, but today we're just going to be grilling it. Here are some pretty easy and simple ingredients that you could probably find over your house. So you need a lot of butter, two lemons, black pepper, you need um, garlic or minced garlic, those will both work. You need half an onion and lemon and pepper spice. And of course, the main ingredient, fish. So then once you got your ingredients, you have to roll your linens to make them all nice and uh, squishy for all the juices to come out when you cut it in half. So once you roll them, you just cut them in half <clears throat> like so and quite a bit of juice should come out because if not, you didn't roll it right. Um, and then what you do is you grab your onion. You have to peel it and cut an onion properly in half. And then what you do, you can just think of nice things to say to these majestic creatures. Like, I just love them when they're in my stomach. And then once you cut your onion in half, if you like it, you can chop the whole thing up in thin slices and then what you do is you just cut it into smaller pieces and then uh, once you're completely finished with that you get your butter and then you just cut it into cubes like so and you'll see why later on oh, slippery so next what you do once you're done with your onions, your lemons, and your butter, then you get your lemon and squeeze it in there. I like to put my lemon juice in there first because it just helps it stick um, all of the drier stuff. So then, if you have a smaller sized fish, you just put about two or three uh, squares of butter in there, and then you just start sprinkling everything in along with your onions which I'm not a huge fan so I'm not going to put too much in my fish not too much um, and then you get your dry shakers you know and then just lightly sprinkle it and on top then move on to your black pepper and I'm not going to do too much because I'm not a huge fan of that either. I don't think. I don't know. And then if you have normal garlic, you have to peel it and chop it up. But we just have minced garlic instead of a one clove. Um, so we're just going to sprinkle that in there. Like so. Two, three. A lot of garlic. And then you have to wrap it. So my saying is uh, juice, shake, and onion. And then what you do is you have to put the sides up and the backs up because you want the juice to stay in. Because if not, it's just going to be dry fish. And fish are meant to be in the water or at least wet. And I just teleported out here with the fishes already wrapped. <coughs> and that <now> on. <coughs> so, what you do is you light the, the grill and have it on a medium uh, low. More uh, medium than high or low than high, you know. And then what you do is a lot of people burn their fish because it's not a blood steak. You don't have to like cook the blood out. This doesn't have any blood. So you just have to cook it for like 
15 or 20 minutes at the top. So then what you do is you grab your fishes like this. Fish, fishes, fish or fishes. I'll show you it. And then you just put it long ways. And don't burn your fingers. Do you see that? That was amazing. And then you just wait like 10 or 15 minutes and then we'll just have it all pressed out on a plate for you guys because that's how technology works. Deal with it. And we are here. I told you it'd be like five seconds for you, but it was 20 minutes for us. And as you see, it turned out really nicely along with the presentation. Oh, some fish bones. Always be careful with the fish bones, they can choke you. Wait, I think that was onion. It's really good. I like it. Lunch. Alright, I'm going to see you guys later. I'm going to enjoy this fish. See you next time on the Attic Show.